to Jesus. I praise God for the Prince of Peace. Ah, for waking us up this morning. The starting is on our way. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. The wonderful castle. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. Ah, praise God. A, B, C, one, two, three. Jesus Christ died for you and me on the cross of Calvary on the tree. And you do not need to take no LSD. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Like, like I always say, getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Ah, can't nobody love you like Jesus. When you, when you get depressed, God will give you rest. Oh, Lord. you don't got to take no heroin. When you are willing to repent from sin, God can deliver you from heroin. God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic and make him a preacher. God can save a drug dealer when he call on the faith healer, Jesus Christ, and make him a man of God. God can save a man from the prison and make him a pastor of a church. Woo! Hallelujah. He said, they that I hold do not need a physician, but they that are sick. He said, I didn't come to call the righteous. He said, I come to call the sinners to repentance. Thank God for a loving Savior. It was amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Whoa. I once was lost. Now we found you should be blind, but now we see. Thank God for amazing grace. I didn't say daddy grace. I said amazing grace. A lot of folk are worshiping daddy grace. But daddy grace cannot save you. Daddy grace himself needed God's amazing grace. We are saved by faith and through, we are saved by grace and through faith. Not by daddy grace. Oh, come on, come on, come on. What he used to call father divine. No, I wanted to worship God. Praise God for the prince of peace. Not father divine. Not daddy grace. We've been saved by amazing grace. Jesus Christ. His grace is unmerited faith. That's what grace means. Unmerited faith. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. God's unmerited favor who saved us by grace. We got some testimonies. We got a victory report. Hallelujah. That is scripture I, that came to my mind and Isaiah chapter 53, who has believed, I report, he was wounded for our transgressions. Oh, oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord, he was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement. Ah, I feel Jesus, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes, you and I are here. Well, we got a victory report. Me and Jackie all the way from Canada asked for prayer a day ago. She said, Preacher Warren, can you pray? She said, my mother is sick. She's in the hospital. Well, we began to pray on yesterday. Me and my prayer warriors around the world. Me and my wife put your mother on the prayer list. I was praying out here in the street, around the YouTube, along with my prayer warriors. When well, we got a testimony, a victory report, mean girl hockey, I say jockey, not, not jockey, hockey, praise God, must play some Holy Ghost good hockey. We got a testimony here, you say, I brought my mom home from the hospital this afternoon. Thank you, preacher, for your prayers. May the Lord bless you and your wife and your ministry. Blessings from Canada. God done heal her mother that quick. Ain't God is a miracle worker. Not only I prayed, Sister Handmaiden prayed, Diane Shepherd prayed, all you around the world who prayed, praise the Lord. God is a prayer answering God. God healed her mother from the hospital to God be the glory. Not me. I'm just a vessel. But God gets the glory. I'm not like no Jim Brown. I know Jim Jones rather. You act like he was a Christ. Had women stripping naked all in his office and all this mess. He wanted folk to worship him. I don't want nobody to worship me, encourage me, pray for me, but don't worship me. All the glory goes to God. Thank God that God healed her mother and God can heal you too. Just have faith and believe in the miracle worker. I'm not better than nobody. God is the best and I'm not the best. God, you are the best. 
and you stand out out of all the rest. I told God every time he worked a miracle in this ministry, I got to stay humble and don't get souped up. Too many preachers got souped up and got their heads swell up. And they want the glory for themselves instead of giving God the glory. That's why God had to bring many preachers and pastors down. Because he got too souped up. Don't get souped up when God anoints you. Stay humble. Because the same God that anoints you is the same God that can unanoint you. I fear God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So God, we thank you for what you did for her mother. God is still working miracles. We thank God for you prayer warriors out there who prayed. You're going to keep on praying. Okay, I got some things been going on around the world. OJ Simpson, I believe, passed away at the age of 76 years old. You know that case. And Nicole, his wife, who got murdered. I'm not really sure if OJ Simpson did it. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. But we're praying for her family. We're praying for the OJ family and Nicole's family. It's appointed for men who wants to die, but the end is just. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. That when the spirit leaves the body, we all going to stand before our creator. Everything that we do here on earth is being recorded in the record book. Whether you do good or bad, or evil or good. Everything we do here on earth is being recorded in the record book in heaven. And when the spirit leaves the body, it goes into judgment and God will judge us. God, the righteous judge who loves us. He loves us. He don't want to see us go to hell, but God hates sin. That's why Jesus made a way for us. He sent Jesus to earth. God gave himself, came in human form. As Jesus of Nazareth, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. St. John chapter 1, verse 10 said, in the world was made by him who made the world God. Read the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He shed his blood for you and me, died on the tree of Calvary to wash away our sins, so we won't have to go to a devil's hell. Yes, we got hell here on earth. The hell down there is worse than hell here on earth. So we're praying for the old Jay Simpson family and the Cole family. We don't know if he actually murdered but uh, he was not convicted back in the day. You remember that chase? When they were chasing that vehicle, that was a big case back in the day. Why you don't use lie detector tests? Why well, don't you stand by a lot of these courts, these major court, courts, when they have these major cases, when they have these major big, big cases, why you don't use lie detector tests? I mean, they use, they use lie detector tests on the Maury show. <laughs> you are the father. <laughs> they use lie detectors on that. They use lie detectors on the Cutler show. On the fraternity show with Laurie Lake. I said, why you don't lose, use lie detectors? Just make it easier for yourself. But we're praying for that family. Uh, there's another situation that happened. Uh, I believe it was in Connecticut. Let me go to it. I... I'm gonna talk about something very serious, but there were some teens who jumped a white girl because she called them niggas. That's a bad word. Here it is. Disturbing video shows white teen being viciously beaten in a park, in a public park, after she was allegedly used a racial slur. Let's go to this. I don't, con I don't condone that part, but let's go to it. This happened recently. The nigger word is a bad word. That's a bad word. So I can understand the anger. But the jumping part, I don't want y'all to go to prison for that. Because after she got jumped by these black teens who was called nigger by this, praise the Lord, my brother. God bless you. Hallelujah. They found her the next morning laying down and and now these teens are being charged and y'all going to prison and she's out. It's a shame this stuff still goes on in society, in the world. We should have been overcame. We say, God bless America. Well, how about America blessing God? How do we bless God? First by loving God and then God say love one another. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. Don't let love depart. Just like God don't hate white. God hates spite and envy and strife. Okay, here we go. 
disturbing video shows white teen, I don't got to show it, being viciously beaten in a public park after she allegedly used a racial slur towards a black girl. So they jumped this white girl, came on the news, because she was calling them niggas. That's a bad word. You know, while I'm preaching up in New York City, on West 34th, I experienced that before. There was an old white woman, like she from a horror show, horror movie. She called me a nigga. And I was preaching the gospel. She said, nigga. You know what I said to her? I said, I ain't no nigga. I'm a winner. She said, nigga. I said, winner. She said, nigga. I said, winner. She said, nigga. I said, I'm a winner. She said, okay, you're a winner. I won. You're not a nigga. You a winner. That's what you say to folk like that. Now, I could have called her a white nigga, but I didn't do it. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, even though I'm a Christian, I love Jesus, but I don't like being called no nigga. So I felt like calling her, well, why? A white nigga, but I didn't say it. I said, I'm a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner. So if somebody called you a nigga, say, I'm a winner. You're not a nigga. That's a bad word. That's a bad word. We all be loving one another. We've been, say we shall, we should have been overcame a long time ago. This stuff been going on, all this racist. I'm not a racist man. I got a lot of white friends, like I got a lot of black friends. Ain't nothing racist about me. Cause when you love Jesus, you love one another. But I don't like the wicked ways. And you know the bad thing about it? We got our own black people calling each other niggas. You're not my nigga, you're my brother. You're not my nigga, you're my sister. You are somebody special. You're not a nigga, you a winner. Killing each other don't make you a winner. If you kill each other, that don't make you a winner. That make you a killer. When the Bible said thou should not kill, that make you a loser. So she said, nigga, I said, winner. She said, you're a nigga. I said, I'm a winner. Winner. She said, okay, you're a winner. I cast that racist demon out of her in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. So I want to advise these teenagers, I understand why you was angry. But now, y'all getting locked up and she's out. That was the devil using her to get you in trouble. So I want to advise you folk out there, if they call you a nigga, say I'm a winner. We could have called them a white nigga, but I said I'm not going to do that, even though I was tempted to call her that. But I knew she was an old lady, all her way to hell. Just as evil and just as mean as a wicked witch from the Wizard of Oz, if not worse. So I said, I'm a winner, not a nigga. Jesus said, thanks be the God, the Bible said, which gives you the victory to your Lord in saving Jesus Christ. Don't let nobody stress you out. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. If you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed, encourage yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let nobody make you get a low self-esteem in yourself because the devil got negative people in the church, on your job, even in your family to try to give you a low self-esteem of yourself. But Jesus loves you. You say, love thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? So I want to give you a wise advice out there. If somebody call you a nigga, say, I'm a winner, not a nigga. You are a winner. You're not a nigga. You are somebody special. I don't see where in the word of God where it says it's wrong with being black. Well, let's look at the clips, the eclipse. Notice it got dark. The black covered the white sun. Now notice what that means, that black is just as important as white. White is just as important as black. God loves the blacks and the whites, so why are we fighting against each other? We're not saying all white people are like that. So we don't all... We don't add all white people in the same category. I got a whole lot of white friends. Hey, praise the Lord, preacher Warren. I said, praise the Lord, my white brother. I got Spanish friends, Indian friends, Chinese friends. Honey, I love everybody. There ain't nothing racist about God. Ain't nothing racist about the devil. So in all 50 states, wait, wait, wait a minute, preacher Warren, slow down. <laughs> racist, let me explain it. Racism is of the devil. But the devil himself is not a racist. Satan doesn't care what color you are. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. Come on, can I teach this thing? But Jesus said, I come that you might have life. 
and that you might have it more abundantly. There's no segregation in hell. The devil, all he want to do is take your soul to hell. Don't let him do it. We got folk making packs with the devil up in Hollywood, selling their soul to Satan for fame and fortune. But Jesus said, what profits a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Preach, Holy Ghost. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Ain't nothing racist about the devil. Racism is of the devil, but the devil himself is not racist. He want to kill everybody. Look at Charles Manson. Charles Manson was white. And look how he killed his own white people. Duh. Duh. Come on, somebody. The devil. Look at uh, Jeffy Dahmer. Like I preached about it yesterday. He killed whites and blacks. Oh, evil demon. He's in hell, too. Along with Charles Manson. And Jim Jones, too. And David Koresh. And all those false prophets. Come on, come on, come on. So let's stop the hatred. Stop using the N-word. And let's love one another. Give it all this racist mess. Jesus is coming soon. In all 50 states, let's stop the hate. And don't be snakes. And let's come to Jesus before it's too late. And love one another as Christ have loved you. Because you can't make it to heaven being racist. You can't make it to heaven having hate. God made you black. He gave you that color. God made you white. He gave you that color. God loved Chinese. He can save the Chinese. Come on. He can save the least. He can save those who you call the least. He can save the Chinese. He loves them. God can save the Japanese and the Chinese. That rhymes. I like that. Ah, I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't got to take no jug overdose. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God can save a Jamaican. Yes, he can. God can save an African. Yes, he can. God can save a Puerto Rican. Yes, he can. God loves an Asian. He can save an Asian. God's grace is still amazing. That rhymes. I like that. Oh, Lord. I want to get to the point. So I'm just letting you know what's going on around the world. The devil is busy because he knows that his time is almost up. The devil trying to take as many souls to hell as he can. Don't let the devil trick you and take your soul to hell. If your family won't go, you go. Yeah, you love your family, but love God more. I love my family, but I ain't going to hell for nobody. I got folk in my family who are saved. Love them, but love God more. Jesus said, he that loves his father, mother, and sister, and brother more than me is not worthy of me. Love them, but love Jesus more. God told Lot and his, God has, God's angels told Lot and his wife, don't look back. They were sent to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because it was wicked. God was sick of the sin. Lot was Abraham's nephew. He had a hard-headed wife. Lot's wife. And I'm going to tell you why I said she was hard-headed. The angels of the Lord told Lot and his wife and children, run into the mountains, flee into the mountains, and don't look back. We are sent to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. God destroyed it with fire. They rescued Lot and his family. When Lot's wife decided to be hard-headed, disobedient, and did just what the angels of the Lord told her not to do, and she looked back. Y'all know what happened. She turned into a pillar of what? Salt. Well, Lot kept on running. Listen, I love you, baby, but I ain't going to hell with you. Just paraphrasing. I'm not turning into a pillar of salt with you. He took his children and he ran the mountain. He never looked back. That's the kind of mentality you got to have when you serving the Lord. I know you love your family, your wife and husband, but love Jesus more. So I'm not going to hell for, for no boyfriend. I know girlfriend. I don't care how handsome you look or how fine you look. You may be fine, but you will not be mine if you're going to cause me to go to hell. Come on. Tell your man, you may be handsome, but I ain't going to let you cause me to go to hell. If you want to do wrong, you, there you go your way. Jesus said, broad is the way that leads us to destruction. Can I keep it real, y'all? And many would go that way. But Jesus said, take the straight gate. Read the book of Matthew chapter number seven, the whole chapter. So don't be influenced by the wrong people. Have your own mind. Hear God for yourself. Follow the right people who got wisdom. We got to listen to somebody. If I'm going to listen to somebody, I'd rather listen to somebody who got a wisdom, who can lead me the right way, because I don't know it all. 
I'm humble enough to listen to somebody who can give me wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Come on, come on, come on. Don't listen to foolish people who plot foolishness. The Bible said a wise woman builds a house and a foolish woman plucks it down. Men too. Come on, come on. So have your own mind. Follow Jesus no matter what. If you want to make it to heaven. I'm just giving some updates. We got some more updates. Now this is what I'm about to tell you. This thing was sad what happened here. A mother accused of killing infant was, pop was a popular strategist. This happened about a day ago. She threw her children on the freeway. My wife found it on YouTube. Stabbed her boyfriend. I let you hear it for yourself. This is, don't make no kind of sense. I was just talking about this on my video yesterday. About this serial killer demon. Now the devil used a woman. Like an educated woman. Watch this for yourself. She was mentally disturbed. Let's take our time. The YouTube is uploading. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to see this for yourself. This won't make no kind of sense. This is scary, y'all. Got some new details emerging about a murder suicide earlier this week. Gigi, Let me uh, pause this a little bit. Woodland Hills getting some more insights on the mother there. Good morning, Gigi. And just some disturbing information coming out about possibly the mindset that this woman had before she went on this murderous crime spree. It's just a, a, a tragic story all the way around. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're ungrounded and they're unrealistic. Check this out. Wait a minute. Let me pause this a little bit so I can see it myself. This don't make no kind of sense. Why don't you hear this, y'all? Here we go. Before she went on this murderous crime spree. It's just a, a, a tragic story all the way around. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're ungrounded and they're unrealistic. Her name was Danielle Johnson, but to her... Okay, cut off. Let me go back to it. I want you to hear this for yourself. Uh... Let me go back to it again. I want you to hear this. She murdered her children. Now to some new details emerging about a murder-suicide earlier this week. Gigi Gracia joins us now from Woodland Hills. Getting some more insights on the mother there. Good morning, Gigi. And just some disturbing information coming out about possibly the mindset that this woman had before she went on this murderous crime spree. It's just a, a, a tragic story all the way around. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're ungrounded and they're unrealistic. Her name was Danielle Johnson, but to her over 103,000 followers on social media, the 34-year-old was known as a yoga, a mystic, and an astrologer, seen here on the Scotty and Sylvia show. In the week leading up to her death, Johnson had been posting constantly about the upcoming eclipse, warning her followers that they needed to choose a side talking about the apocalypse and that something big was going to happen. She also shared conspiracy theories and anti-Semitic posts. Investigators analyzing the social media posts as they try to understand what led her to stab her boyfriend, Jalen Cheney, to death inside their Woodland Hills apartment and then take her two daughters and push them out of her moving car onto the 405 freeway. That's where her eight-month-old daughter that she shared with Cheney died and her nine-year-old daughter was seriously injured. She then died by suicide after slamming her car at 100 miles per hour into a tree in Redondo Beach. This happening hours before Monday's eclipse. I mean, she was warning people. She was uh, saying, pick a side. Uh, the, the way that she typed about it was in all caps. Um, you know, you could tell by her actions that it wasn't just a, a point to get attention or you know, drive up her followers or whatever in the streams or whatever she was looking for. It looked like she was very disturbed. Now, John
Johnson was also a recording artist, she said, according to another account that she managed. And she had an Etsy store where under the handle of Rich Girl Magic, she sold audio recordings of her voice for healing and astrological readings. And inside her apartment, we're told, dozens of tarot card decks, candles, religious figurines, feathers, altars were all found. You heard that? Her nine-year-old daughter, she is healing from the broken bones and so much more. She's in the care of the Department of Children and Family Services. Her father lives out of state, and right now it's unclear if he's actually going to care for her or what will happen. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Gigi Gracia. Back to you. Y'all heard that, y'all? Y'all heard that? She had altars, feathers, candles, dealt with astrology. What that sound like, y'all? Witchcraft. Now this is like an intelligent young lady who says she was mentally disturbed. What y'all missing, she was demon possessed. Let's talk about this. People who you call me and disturbed, allow my possessed with demon spirits. You got to take authority over demon spirits with the power that Jesus has given you. You can't cast out demons if you don't have the Holy Ghost. I want to teach you something. This is a sad case. This young lady dealt with astrology. You know, when people ask my sign, I'm very hesitant about that. A lot more. Because really, I'm not into astrology. Somebody said, oh, you, you was born in October. Then you must be a leaver. You know, a lot of times they want to ask your sign because they want to go down to a psychic. Uh-oh. Preach Holy Ghost. And find out your information. And find out your business. Some folks just nosy and want to go down running down to psychics and witch doctors and want to find out your business, how to get a man, and how to get a woman, and how to cast spells on people. You don't got to go down to a witch doctor to get a husband. When you walk up right before God and you are saved and you say, Lord, give me a husband, give me a wife, God will bless you with a husband and a wife. The Bible says, who so fine as a wife, fine as a good thing. If you are a virtuous woman, according to Proverbs, Chapter 31, verse 10. And you're a good man. You don't gotta go out to a socket reader to get somebody to read the palm and are they trying to cast spells on the woman? Are they trying to put spells on the man? I mean, even you put a spell on the man and he falls in love with you, after a while the spell is gonna wear off. He ain't gonna know who you are. So, oh my God, who you are. God can give you a man himself. If you walk up right before God, he'll give you a good husband. You don't got to be paying no thousand dollars to a psychic or a witch doctor to put a spell to get a man when God can give you a husband and a wife himself. When you walk out right before God, he said he'll give you the desires of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's sad what this young woman did. She murdered her children. How can you murder your own children? She threw her children on the freeway, stabbed her boyfriend. Now that don't make any kind of sense. Now they say she was mentally disturbed, yes, but she was demon possessed. Demons are real. When you mess with the Ouija boards and the witchcraft and got the devil worshiping altars in your house, that's a gateway to demons to attack you and mess up your life. Don't mess with that stuff. I want to help you out, because God loves you. I'm trying to help you. Throw away the Ouija boards and the OG boards. That stuff is a gateway to demons. That's a portal to demons to make your life miserable. Throw it away. I'm trying to help you, because God loves you. Thank you for the word. Oh, that's so nice of you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, what's your name, daughter? Michelle. God bless you. Thank God for the woman of God who came over here. I know she got to go to work. But just her coming by here to be a blessing to your servant. Give her increase. Thousandfold. No weapon that falls against you shall prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, daughter. You. I can tell you love God. I do. Yes, yeah, all over you. Thank you, daughter. God bless you. Thank you. Thank God for the woman of God who came over here and brought the love of Jesus in the atmosphere. Ah, this, this is an hour for God's power, and God's power will never go silent. I want to help you out. I'm going to teach you. Notice on the news report, it says she had altars, candles. Now, the altar was a satanic altar. 
God bless you, young man. Praise God. God bless y'all this morning. Y'all are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you so much. I received the blessing, woman of God and man of God. Have a good day. Thank you. Hallelujah. So happy to see my spiritual family on this morning. Woo! Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. And his mercy endures forever. I love to see folk get blessed. To see you happy makes me happy. God bless you. To see you smile makes me smile. And to see you saved and filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, repenting from your sins and make me feel good. I want to teach you something. What did the Bible say about astrology? Let's, let's get into God's word because some of y'all just don't know. It don't mean you're a bad person, but you just don't know. That's what the Bible said. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. She was dealing with astrology. Artists, candles, all over YouTube, on social media, had a lot of followers. She's like a very intelligent young lady. My wife said she's a good looking woman. You wouldn't expect a woman like this to do that. Stabbed the boyfriend, took her, and we praying for her other daughter that God would heal her. I'm so sad the baby got run over. Oh my God. Got run over on the freeway. And then the devil had that woman murder herself, kill herself. Look at that. That was the enemy. God bless you. Have a good day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Them same demons would turn on you when you worship demons. Did I just taught? Did I just teach us yesterday? Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The truth and the life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh Lord. The truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Look how the same demons turn on her. She sold her soul to the devil. I'm trying to help you, y'all. She was not only just mentally disturbed. She was, amen, brother. God bless you, man of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. I thank God for you, man of God. Thank God for that young man praising God. It's good to see young men like that who praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to see that young man praising God like that. God is raising up young men of God like that to change the world. Hallelujah. Woo! That made my heart feel good to see these young people praising God like that here in the streets. He said, preach on, preach on. Look how the same demons turn on her. See, when you deal with satanic altars, and mess with the Ouija boards and astrology and candles. And she was messing all this stuff in her house and feathers. The demons caused her to be mentally disturbed. How could you not believe the devil is real? Some of y'all don't even believe that God is real. So of course you're not going to believe that the devil is real. I'm going to help you out. The devil is real. Just like God is real. The devil don't want you to believe that he's real. He's behind this stuff. Now, the devil cannot use people unless they allow him to. She allowed it. There was a gateway in her house burning all these demonic candles. We're not saying candles is wrong. Some folk burn candles for different reasons. For, ro for romance. A kind of like dinner with their husband. I'm not talking about that. I believe she was burning candles conjuring up demonic spirits. Some, somebody putting spells on people. It's sad. And the demon had her stab her boyfriend, go on the freeway, threw her children on the freeway, and the little innocent, cute little baby was run over by transportation. Oh my God. The other girl survived, we praying for her. And then she killed herself. The demon told her to kill herself. Now the devil took her to hell, because the Bible said, thou shalt not kill. So if God said, thou shalt not kill, then God don't want you to kill yourself. You're somebody special. So if the demon of depression tell you to kill yourself, tell depression, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Do not let depression make you commit suicide. God got a great plan for your life because he loves you. Hallelujah. If God said don't kill somebody else, why would God want you to kill yourself? Suicide is of the devil. Look, the devil don't care. He took our soul to hell. And she was worshiping the devil. And that same devil she worshiped is the same demons who had her kill herself in the car and crash into the tree. Somebody said, well, what's wrong with our strategy, preacher Warren? Let me teach you. The Bible said, my people, teach you in love, y'all. 
So my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected it. Some of you wonder why these bad things happen. If, well, you're, now I know the wise men, they said dealt with astrology, but not in a demonic way. With the stars and all that. I want to teach you about this. What did, what did the Bible say about astrology? God is against it. According to Journey Homeschool Academy, believing in the power and authority hallelujah, of Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What did the, what did the Bible say about astrology? Hallelujah. It says a sin. Grow your faith today. Let's understand the Bible. Let's go into it, y'all. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. Talk about how people chase after false gods. It's a sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Mm. There is no biblical evidence that God has given authority to the stars of astrologers. There's no biblical evidence in the Bible. Come on, let's get into the scriptures. What did the Bible say about astrology? Now, I know the Bible did declares in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. I always quote this. Regard not them who have familiar spirits, neither seek, read it, after the wizards. Wizards are male witches. For I am the Lord, so God. That means God don't like familiar spirits. Divination spirits. The Bible talks about the divination spirit, the Datsun, who is possessed with the spirit of divination in the book of Acts chapter number 16. Divination is a function telling spirit. I want to help you out too, because maybe some of y'all just don't know. The Bible said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. I'm going to give you knowledge. Don't reject it. Because you reject it. The Bible declares in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, then God said, and so I will reject you. They're being priests unto me, and I will forget about your children. You don't want God to forget about your children. But the reason why God said that, because the children will turn out just as wicked as the parents, because the parents have rejected God. The parents kept doing wickedness. Now the children are born into a generational curse. You want to break this curse right now. Only way for this curse to be broken is through, is by obedience to God. By obeying God's word. Jesus said, you love me, keep my commandments. The damsel in the book of Acts chapter number 16 was possessed with a spirit of divination. Fortune telling spirit. That is a counterfeit of the gift of prophecy and the word of knowledge according to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 12. When they foretell the future, they give their information from demons. A crystal ball. Those are demons talking to them, not God. Now, God speaks to me. I don't get my information from a tarot card reader, a Ouija board, a Ouija board, because that stuff is of the devil. That's a gateway to demons. Come on. I'm going to teach you something. Divination spirit is different than the gift of prophecy and the word of knowledge and the gift of discernment, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Folk who get a demon of divination are hearing from demons. Maybe they don't know that demons are talking to them. They may think God is talking, but it's really demons. They being the sea. We want to help you out too, y'all. You psychic readers. God want to save you. He don't want you to be deceived. The Bible declares in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits to see whether they be of God. Because many false prophets have gone into the world. Paul knew that the damsel, the young girl, who is possessed with a spirit of divination, Paul was vexed. She said, oh, I know you're a man of God, Paul. Now, she didn't know Paul in the natural, but she knew Paul in the spirit. How did she know this? The demons of divination spoke to the damsel about Paul. She knew everything about his life. How did she know? It was a demon of divination who told the woman about Paul. Paul, his spirit was vexed. He didn't feel comfortable because he knew it was not of God. Paul, Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, being a man of God himself, had discernment and a gift of world knowledge, the fivefold ministry. 
He knew that spirit was not of God. That's so what the Bible said. He was vexed. Because if she had the right spirit, Apostle Paul would never have gotten vexed. He would have knew that's the Holy Ghost, but it wasn't. The Bible said he cast the demons of divination out of the depths. So she was a fortune teller. This what this girl had who murdered her children. She had a spirit of divination. She was burning candles and doing witchcraft. And those demons who she worked with told her to kill her children, told her to stab her boyfriend, told her to kill herself, and now she's in hell. Those demons will turn on you because the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But thank God that Jesus said, Oh Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I come that you might have life. I want to help you out and that you might have it more abundantly. Now let's go back to the scriptures. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? But by what? Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Let's go into the scriptures. What the Bible says about astrology. Praise the Lord for the Prince of Peace. The Bible says that stars along with the sun and moon were given for signs and seasons. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. That is, they were meant to mark. Okay, let's go into this. Let's get into the word. It's not my words. This is God's word. What do the Bible say about astrology and zodiac? Do the Bible speaks against it? Let's go into the word. The Bible has much to say about the stars, like I just said. Most basic to our understanding of the stars is that God created them. Now, he didn't create stars for us to worship them. He didn't say worship the stars. We're supposed to worship the real star, God. Not the stars in heaven. Not the eclipse. Now, this girl was talking about the eclipse. Come on. Giving all these false prophecies. Watch this. The eclipse was so beautiful, wasn't the eclipse? The Bible has much to say about the stars. Most basic to our understanding of the stars is that God created them. They show his power and majesty. The heavens are God's handiwork. Psalms chapter 8, verse 3. Come on, somebody. Chapter 19, verse 1. Whoa, 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 Lordy. He has all the stars numbered and named. Oh, Lord. Songs chapter 147, verse 4. The Bible also teaches that God arranged the stars into recognizable groups that we are called constellations. The Bible mentions three of these, Iron, the Bear, Usur Major, and the Crooked Serpent, most likely, in Job chapter 9, verse 9, chapter 26, verse 13, chapter 38, verse 31 to verse 32, Amos chapter 5, verse 8. Okay, let's talk about the stars, the zodiac stuff. Now, the question is, is God, is, is God against astrology? Mm. You want to go into God's word. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Is God against astrology? Yes, he is. A lot of people out there trying to get their function read through stars. But the Bible do not support that. Come on. The Bible don't support it. Be careful with that. You ought to pray to God, not the stars. Look how this woman was dealing with astrology. Candles. She had altars, demonic altars. Now how she dealt with astrology and was bugging out, was mentally disturbed. God ain't going to make you kill your children. God ain't going to make you kill yourself. God not going to tell you to throw your children on the freeway. That was the devil who was talking to her. Demons began to possess her when she dealt with that stuff. I want, I'm trying to help you, y'all. I'm trying to help you, y'all. The Bible talks about astrology that is evil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. First, read the book of First Thessalonians. 
chapter 5, verse 22, God states that we should abstain from all appearance of evil. Is the strategy real? This is real, but it's demonic. It's demonic. Come on. Read the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Chapter 24, verse 1. I gave it earlier. 1 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 6. Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3. There is no biblical evidence that God has given authority to the stars, our astrologers. No evidence in the Bible whatsoever. So she was deceived. She was a seed. And the devil done trick her to do what she did. And now she being tortured in hell. Come on, ain't no place for killers in hell. I mean, in heaven. There's a place for murderers in hell. The Bible said, thou shalt not kill. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Jesus says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Note that he says all authority, all, not some, all authority, believing in the power of authority. He didn't say astrology. He didn't say stars. God has, Jesus has all authority. All power is given unto him and heaven and earth, not to the stars, not to the astrologers. So this girl was demon possessed. Not only just she was mentally disturbed, but she, be, but she was being disturbed by demons. Many of you don't believe in demons, y'all. I don't understand how folk don't believe it, that the spirit world exists. We can see all this evil going on. How can you defeat something that you don't believe in? Many of you are atheists who don't believe that God is real. So of course, you're not going to believe that the devil is real. The devil don't want you to believe that he is this. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I want to help you out, y'all. I want to teach you something. Anton LaVey, who started the satanic church. Now, he himself did not believe that Satan exists. But that don't make no sense. That, did that make sense to y'all? Did that make sense to you, y'all? Anton LaVey started the satanic church, yet he himself did not believe, he himself did not believe that Satan existed. So why he started it then? The devil tricked him. He didn't believe that hell was real, yet he had altars like this girl did. Are they worshiping Satan? And yet he himself did not believe that Satan was real, where the devil tricked him. They had it said that when Anton LaVey, who started the satanic church, died on his deathbed, I talked about this. They said he felt demons pulling his legs and his soul to hell. He felt fire. He started, he began to scream. Ah! He said, what did I do? Why am I going to hell? He said his last words was, don't make the same mistake I made. And the demons took his soul to hell. Demons are real, y'all. You cannot defeat something that you don't believe in. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers. Spiritual wickedness, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to help you out in high places. Ephesians chapter number 6, read it. Verse 10, verse 12. Now what do that mean? That there are demonic forces, unseen forces, who works through human beings who allow themselves to be used by demons. One teacher. Now the name demon, the name demon is not in the Bible. They call devils, our evil spirits, our bells above. But it doesn't make a difference. Demon is a devil, devil is a demon. They're all the same. Evil spirits. These are people who practice witchcraft. God is against witchcraft. Read the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 18. It says, Suffer. Not a witch to even live. He told Moses that to give it to Israel. We're not saying go around killing people. We're not saying that. Where does that tell you? God does not like witchcraft. He doesn't like evil voodoo and evil witchcraft. Or we're going putting curses on people. That stuff for backfire. 
Look how it backfired against us. And bumped her out. And killed her own children. Except the other girl, she didn't die. We prayed for her. I'm so sad the baby got run over by a car. Oh, evil, wicked woman. So her car along Jesus, she was there talking about astrology and the eclipse. God did not put eclipse in the sky for us to worship the eclipse. God spoke through the eclipse and the star that came out the eclipse represents that you are star. In other words, God loves you. And God wants to love each other and stop being racist against each other because we all are going to stand before God. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Oh Lord, every tongue shall confess ha, that Jesus Christ is Lord, not the astrologer, not the second reader. The second reader is going to answer to God. The witches and the warlocks will answer to God. I'm going to answer to God. God is the almighty one. He's the greatest power in heaven and earth. Shh. I feel God. You witches done in Boston. Tearing up the Bibles. That don't faze God because you tore up the Bible. God already knew you witches that in Boston was going to tear up the Bible even before you was born. That don't faze God. God going to be God way after you die. Shh. Come on. God is used to folk cursing at him. They ain't going to stop God for being who he is. We are like ants in the presence of God. God is bigger than all of us. Your arms is too short to box with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus can crush the powers of darkness. God can tell the angel of death, go. It's not her time to die. It's not his time to die. He'll tell cancer, go. He'll heal your sick body. Thank you, Jesus. The big grand reaper bows to God. Honey, I'm scared of God. I wouldn't dare curse on him. He can kill me right now if he wants to. I don't know how it folk. I'm more scared of the devil than scared of God when God can destroy the devil. Come on. Hallelujah. I want to help you out. Because God loves you. Don't deal with the psychics or the astrologers. You psychics out there, God loves you. Come to Jesus. Throw away the psychic uh, cards and the tar She also had tarot cards that deal with demons, mediums. Are they trying to contact the spirit of the dead? No, no, no. Going, Why do you think a lot of you got ghosts, demonic spirits in your house? Because if you got tarot cards in your house, and you got Ouija boards in your house, and you got voodoo dolls in your house, then that's why demons are bothering you and giving you nightmares. Throw it away. I'm trying to help you because God loves you. He don't want you to have no nightmares. God wants you to have good dreams, not bad dreams. I'm trying to help you. Throw that stuff away. That's the accursed thing. And read the Bible. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Clean your house up with all that evil stuff and all them evil voodoo dolls in your house. This is why bad things are happening to you. Because you got evil in your house. Once you throw it away and come to Jesus, that's when God will begin to bless you. Oh, hallelujah. He said, I will bless you if you keep my holy commandments. Oh, oh, oh. hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read the verse 1 to verse 14. He said, if you keep my holy word, I will bless you. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He said, I'll make you above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. When you keep God's holy commandments, he'll bless you. Not the astrologers. Not the psychic. So those of you dealing with that stuff, I want to help you out. God loves you. So, so the devil won't attack you. So you won't be mentally disturbed. Lama being tormented in their minds. So some of you, so you news reporters, who say, all you around the world who say that she was mentally disturbed? Yes, she was. But disturbed by what? Demons that cause depression and cause them to be bugged out. Trying to help you, y'all. Believe in Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. We're praying for that.
We're praying for that little girl. I believe she was nine years old. We put her on the prayer list, y'all. Touch that girl, God, who was thrown on the freeway. So sad the other baby was run over. She's in heaven now. The angels took that little baby to heaven. And she's in the presence of the Lord. The baby's in the presence of the Lord. So sad the boyfriend got stabbed up. Went all over the social media. Intelligent woman. Possessed. And there's so many of them going through the same problem. We're praying for you today. You may be depressed. You may be mentally disturbed. Jesus can heal your broken heart. Jesus can heal your mind. Just say, Lord, help me. Lord, deliver me. Repent. And God will help you. Just say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. And God will forgive you. God will help you. God will heal you and your children. God will send angels to watch over you. I want to talk about Bruce Lee. A great martial artist. I think he was the greatest martial artist I've ever seen. Bruce Lee. Did the movie Into the Dragon. But I want to talk about this. Bruce Lee was wrestling with a generation. Thank God for the Holy Ghost bird. He was wrestling with a generational curse. I'm going to teach about this. There was a sorcerer who put a curse on his grandfather. On the men in the family. I guess they were jealous of the family because it was talented. They were talented. It was just not normal that Bruce Lee, I understand it was said that he took some pills or something happened with his brain. But I believe it was something supernatural more than that. It was something demonic. I believe it was a generational curse. Look how Brandon Lee died in his 20s. Is that normal? Curse. Only way to break that curse is through Jesus Christ. Bruce Lee was wrestling with a generational curse. There was a sorcerer that put a curse on Bruce Lee's family because they were jealous of his family. He had, he had a lot of speed. I'm going to talk about that in my upcoming video. How to break that curse. This demon he was wrestling with took Bradley as well as himself. He beat many men. Unbeatable. Speed. Power in his hand. Had the three inch punch. Did the push ups with just two fingers. Incredible man. But he had a hard time, couldn't defeat this demon. You can't beat a demon with so natural strength. Say it again, y'all. You cannot beat a demon with your natural strength. Only one who can destroy a demon is God. You must have the power of the Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ, to get rid of that curse. To destroy it. Call on Jesus. He loves it. And say, Lord, save me. God can break the curse of the sorcerer. God got power over sorcery. God got power over witchcraft. God got power over black magic. God can set you free. Hallelujah. God bless you. Jesus said, I come to set the captive free. Praise the Lord. I come to heal your broken heart. If you've been bound by witchcraft, Jesus can set you free. And God will tell the demons to leave you alone. Woo! And God will send angels to protect you because he loves you. You're somebody special, daughter. God bless you. God have you over here for a reason because you've been going through a lot in your life. You've been a black sheep in your family. You are the one that God is going to use. You cried many tears on the inside. You are a very strong woman, but God sent me here to encourage you, to let you know you are special. There have been demons that have been bothering you, but right now God is sending angels around you. Whoa, what's your name, daughter? Come over here, I come to you. God bless you, Natasha. God got a great plan for your life. You've been through a lot, mm -hmm. but no weapon that's formed. Ooh.
Bible and you know weapon that's formed against you shall probably you love God. You already know about church. Nah. But you've been wounded in church. Even from family members. Even from people close to you. You know what it's like to be rejected. But God told me to tell you, I will never leave you. I know sometimes I get lonely along the way, and but God is moving the wrong people away from you. Sometimes it's good to walk by yourself. Sometimes God will move the wrong people away from you to move the right people in. Sometimes we got enemies in our families who don't understand. But the Lord said you've been destined for greatness since you was a little girl. That's what the devil been trying to discourage you and coming against you. But God said, oh, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And yes, you will have a ministry one day. You are destined to be used mightily by God. Your nights are going to be better. We come against every witch and warlock. They have been trying to put evil spirits against us. No weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. The curse is broken. You are blessed. And they cannot curse who God is blessed. This is your daughter. I hear the Lord told me to tell you that God has already forgave you. Forgive yourself. You have a hard time forgiving yourself. The devil tried to bring up past mistakes. God already forgave you. We all make mistakes. But we can learn from our mistakes. That's how we gain wisdom. Only one perfect is God. But he chose you. Whoa! God, so you are chosen. Yeah. Oh, yes, we make mistakes, but we fall, but we get back up. Ha! Right. Hallelujah! Yeah. Nobody has no heaven to hell to put you in. <laughs> God is a judge. And God said, so you are loved by Jesus Christ. God bless you, daughter. Thank you. We're going to put your name on the prayer list. And we're going to pray. What's your name again? Natasha. Natasha. We're going to pray for Natasha around the world. You are in the family of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Natasha. You. you are special. I'll be starting my church here in New Jersey. And we would love to have you. And this preacher, you don't got to hate. I ain't got no collection plates. <laughs> the love that God wants to give to you is for free. Because you already paid the price on the tree. You say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender all to you, God. I surrender all to you, God. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Better than I love myself. Than I, love myself. I, commit myself I commit myself to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. 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 Thank you for coming over here, daughter. Did we have some church? Yes, we did. You are too, every time you get depressed, just keep saying, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Okay. Amen, sister. I, that's right. And you got a Bible in your house? Keep on reading. Read the book of St. John 14. John. 14, that's for you. Okay. I'll be here again uh, next week. Okay. Anytime you want to come over, you family. I always kept looking at you when I was going to class. Oh, that's good. So I said, Lord, give me the courage to walk over here to him. And that's what I did. I'm glad you did. I was at the dentist, and I seen you. I was like, thank you. Oh, God bless you. I'm glad you did. Anytime you want to come over here, I'm here. Because you are loving. You are special. You too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. <laughs> Love you, Natasha. Thank you. I'll see you again next week. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless Sister Natasha. Oh, God bless her. Her soul just came to Jesus. Oh, we praying for her. God bless her. God bless the people. God bless the people. God bless the people. God bless every person walking down the street. You're somebody special. God bless you. We praying for Natasha right now. Touch her from the crowns of it. Let's pray, y'all, prayer warriors. My wife, Lady Adams, we're going to put her on the prayer list later on. We're praying for her right now. I know she's been through a lot in her life. Embrace her with your love. The curse is broken. Bring generational blessings in the name of Jesus. There's those who got raped and sexually abused. You're the one that God is going to use. It's not your fault that you got raped. So don't blame yourself. You are not dirty. You are loved by Jesus Christ. It was out of your control that you got raped by a nasty pervert in your family. Don't feel dirty. It's not your fault. You are special. God is sitting your broken heart right now. God got a great plan for your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You say, Lord, come unto my heart and save me. I repent for my sins. I believe you was crucified. Died on the cross. And God has raised you from the dead. I want to be saved. Touch her, Lord. Touch her, Lord. I know she's been wounded. I know she's been hurt because I can feel it. Touch all those around the world. We're praying for you too. And let's pray one for another. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He'll give you power to break the curse. Pass this video on to somebody who needs to hear it all around the world. God loves you today and you can make heaven your home and God can give you a peace of mind. Praise the Lord. You don't got to be mentally disturbed anymore. God want to give you a peace of mind. God shall my peace, I give unto thee. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Many of you are institutions, mainly disturbed by demons. I command those demons to leave you alone in the name of Jesus. Touch her mind. Touch his mind. Touch her children. Break that generational curse and bring generational blessings. Hallelujah. God can work a miracle for you because he loves you. He loves you. You're somebody special. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this word. If you didn't, it's the truth. And he shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. We praying for all of you out there. Stay in the word of God. Stay in prayer and fasting. Some demons come out by fasting. It's strongholds. But it's not impossible for that yoke to be broken. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. So take this video and watch it and learn. And I guarantee you, you're going to get blessed. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Anyone who want to send to our cash app, or the cash app to Angel Davis to explain is separated from the gold for me. That gold for me money is not touched. That's for the future church. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be shocked. Why? Well, finally, you show you the church building. We thank God for all those who gave to the gold for me. The cash app is separated from the gold for me. Someone said, Preacher Warren, please open up a cash app. For been begging me for two years. Because I never had a cash app. Because I never preached for money and still don't. All we work. They said, Preacher Warren, we want to bless you. Please open up a cash app. We want to bless you. So I finally did. And I opened up a cash app. It's Flame of Fire. My wife helped me with it. It's called Flame of Fire 8. Under Pastor Warren Adams. That's separated from the gold for me. It's not the same. Praise God. We thank God for those who was a blessing. I took part of that money and fed a hungry woman two days ago who did not eat in two days. Living in a hotel, some living in shelters. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. But we praise God for the Prince of Peace. That God will give you a peace, a mind. And most of all, which is more important, give your heart to Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.